What is my oldest Lego set? What's up guys? And yes, I do have a really old Lego set and it is this bad boy. This is the Legoland Space System set 483. It is the Alpha One Rocket Base and this has 170 pieces and was released in the year of 19... 78 this set was dug out from a closet in my house and this was originally my father's and i he had all of, he had pretty much i would say 95 percent of all the pieces were there and i put it together and it, it looks kind of, it looks pretty darn cool as you can see there is the set all built up and don't forget i have the little car there and this set we're going to be going over the price at the end but i do know the value of this set as this sits right now for my copy but yeah let's get into the set so let's take out oh geez yeah the set is old he bought it i believe like in the 80s maybe night i don't even remember I don't even know because it wasn't around. But let's get into the set. It's got a really nice rocket or whatever. The rocket itself is very loose. My copy is not in the greatest condition, but it does look really cool on display. Nice satellite dish that does go, it does move like that. It's got the control panels inside there where you can't put minifigures. It is missing bars that go right there. Um, it's got a rail right there and then the this part that is connecting the rockets does move like that That's actually in really great shape That's really cool and I don't understand the point of this. I'm guessing that's like a satellite. I don't really know But the set is very basic again. This is from 1978. This is where Lego pretty much started and let's take off this minifigure and the little like tram or whatever it's got a like car it's got like a car in the front it's got the like i don't know canisters in the back it's got the old style lego wheels it's got the steering wheel it's got a control panel right there which is basic it's like 70s it's got a rod up there and then this these um are connected inside of here i don't know why they uh put it in there but what are you gonna do 78 and yeah, that's really it. I do like that. And here's the thing with my copy. I didn't even have the instructions. I had to look this up online and build it myself. Now let's get into the minifigures. You get a whole bunch of space people. And how many minifigures? You only get three. So we are going to be reviewing three of them. You get two of the white space guys and then one of the red. But I do have other spacemen to go with it i don't it, they were just in the box so i had them you get a blue guy they're all pretty much the same except uh some of different parts because they were missing them or um they're just different colors so we got an extra white guy a blue one and then a yellow guy they are not as you could see they do have cracks but what are you gonna do uh so the red guy has the wrong helmet but he just has a nice, simple astronaut look to him. He's got the simple astronaut printing on his torso. No leg printing whatsoever. He's got no back printing. As you can see, no back printing. Um, he is very loose. He's also got, like, chipping paint loss up there. I don't know if you could tell, but he does have paint loss up there. And, yeah. And then you just get two extra white spacemen, which is pretty cool. Okay. Getting this set now, brand new, you'll be paying $1,500 to $2,000 for this set brand new, but you will almost never find a brand new copy of this set. It is very hard to find. And this set, used in good condition, you will fetch to pay $400 to $500. And then if you want this set in like okay condition, which mine's in okay condition because our parts are in really great shape, so okay you'll be fetching to pay around $150 to $250. And then if this set is in really rough condition, like you have almost no minifigures and like you're missing a lot of parts, you'll fetch to pay around $25 to about $80. So 
not bad. 150 to 250 bucks for a set that was just sitting in a closet for pretty for like over 30 years or like 20 years. That's really, really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. I thought this would be a really fun video to make. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like button down below and subscribe to this next video. See you guys.